Hello, welcome to Develop with Chaminder. I'm Chaminder Chandrasekhar, Microsoft MVP. Today, let's see how GitHub Copilot can help us write Terraform code. I have my VS code enabled with GitHub Copilot. You can find the link in the description of this video where I explained how to enable GitHub Copilot for Visual Studio code. I have a folder open with Visual Studio code with three empty Terraform files as you can see. Let's start with providers. Let me type Terraform required configuration for Azure RM. And when I hit enter, you can see it immediately provides me assistance to have the Terraform required configuration and uh, the Azure RM version specified here. So I can uh, change the Azure RM version to 3 and that's the latest version 3.28 I think. So I will just leave it as 3. Then let's specify the provider. So let me see Azure RM provider configuration. So it automatically gives me the hint to the code. So I just use it as it is. Next, let's specify the backend. So I'll say hash Azure RM backend configuration and hit enter. So it gives me the backend configuration specification. Then uh, instead of using this uh, remote backend configuration, I want to use a local backend for the sake of easiness. So let me try to say Azure RM local backend and configuration and let's see if it helps yes it is creating local backend configuration so i can just say my demo copilot terraform state let's comment the uh, remote state as we are not going to use it I'll just use the local state and then let's go to main and try to specify the resources. So first I'll begin with Azure RM resource group maybe. I'll just say resource group configuration and let's see what it gives me. It gives me Azure RM resource group and my demo copilot and I'll just say to make it RG my demo copilot. Say I want to have a Linux web app. So initially I need a, a Linux app service plan. Let me say Azure. It suggests me a, a virtual machine, but I'll say Azure RM Linux app service plan configuration. So it should give me something really fast. Yes. It has given me all the correct code and it is provided with all the correct names for its location and resource group name as well. And then let's try to specify a Linux.NET application, maybe a Linux app service configuration. Let me say Linux app service, Linux.NET app service, app service configuration, and then try to hit enter here and it's providing me .NET 3.1. So let me say .NET 6 instant and see what happens. Hit enter and I get a .NET 6. So that's great. Now let's do a Terraform mini. Let's do a Terraform plan now. In the plan, you can see it's creating three resources. Let's do a Terraform apply next. It's asking to confirm. You can see three resources are getting created. These all are written with the help of GitHub Copilot and the creation is completed. Now let's go and see in Azure portal. Let's search for the resources that we have created with the name Copilot. As you can see, all the resources that we have specified in Terraform with the help of GitHub Copilot has been created here. So GitHub Copilot really helps writing Terraform code as well.